You're watching Math with Mr. B. Okay, we're going to solve the Megaminx Rubik's Cube today. We're going to compare this to solving a 3x3 Rubik's Cube. So if you know how to solve this, by the end of this video, you'll know how to solve the Megaminx. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is scramble it up. All right, this looks pretty scrambled to me. All right, our first step is going to be just like solving the white side on our three by three. So I'll mix this up as well. All right, so our first step is to make a white plus sign. So here's white. So just how we would normally solve this, go ahead. All right, so we have our white plus sign with all the sides uh, for our three by three. So now what we need to do is do the same thing on our Megaminx. However, with our Megaminx, we don't have a plus side, we have a star. So we have to fill in our star pieces first. And when we're solving this, a good strategy is to think of uh, these as the sides. This is the side, this is the side, and then these are kind of like the top where the yellow would be on our three by three. All right, now that I have a white star matching all the sides, green, red, blue, yellow, purple, what I need to do is fix my corners now. And this is uh, very similar to our three by three. So for example, we have our three by three right here. So I wanna get, um, well these, there we go. So I wanna get this green to match this orange and green side with the white right here. So typically what I just do is I go ahead and I just push away, bring this one up, back this in, and then down. So same strategy here for each corner of the Rubik's Cube. However, I just have five sides here. So literally what I'm doing is kind of thinking this is the bottom, this is a side, this is a side, and then these are just one big top. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. So this purple, green and white it needs to go where white, green and purple is at. And so I have the white on one of the sides is which I was what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna look at the green side and I need it to go right here. So I'm really, literally gonna push it away, bring this side up, back this one in, bring it down. Now I have white matching white, green matching green and purple matching purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the same thing for all of those. Okay, so now I have all the corner pieces and I have my first layer completely done. Now I'm done really looking at the white side and I kind of tend to flip it and leave the white on the bottom. Um, I actually go layer by layer. So the next step is to get each one of these um, star pieces, but I just go straight across the bottom. Okay, so on the three by three, I have my first layer done. They're all matching. So what I would do in theory on the, the three by three is I want this uh, blue and orange piece to go right here. So I typically push the top away, bring the left side up, and there we go. So whatever strategy you do to kind of get this piece into here, that's exactly what you want to do. So you want to get your edge pieces um, into the sides. So I'm going to equate that to the same thing right here. These little star pieces are the same exact edge pieces that are on my three by three. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'll find a few pieces to show you for an example. All right, so we have a good example here. I have my blue and yellow piece, which is gonna go right here. So if I rotate it right here, I have blue and yellow. This is the same thing. So now I want this yellow piece to go right here. So I'm gonna move it up. I move this piece. I bring this piece back. I bring this back and then rotate this side and bring it back in. So the same exact movements that I do to get this edge piece in that I would do for my three by three. Okay, so now I have the first two layers completely done, the bottom and then these star pieces here. So my next step is to get the third layer right here, these edge pieces um, intact. Now, um, 
this is super simple because all I have to do is find the colors and just kind of rotate it straight down. So right here, so green, blue, and yellow, and that's gonna go right here to the blue, yellow, and green. So I turn the green to the green, and now I literally just rotate it down and it matches. So I'm gonna do it for all of them, and we're just gonna do these bottom ones, not these ones right here. So just these ones, because that's the third layer. Okay, so now I have all three layers done. So one, two, three for each side. Um, now I need to do the fourth layer, which are these pieces here. So those pieces, if you um, kind of turn to the side, it's the same thing as, once again, our edge piece from our three by three here. Usually I try to start looking at the top now and a, a piece that doesn't have gray, it usually will, it, it, it could be one of those. So I have blue and pink. Oh, that's gonna go right here. So the way I like to do this now is I'm going to go ahead and I want my blue to actually be right here because I need to bring this piece up. Now it's going to mimic a regular three x three Rubik's cube. This is the top and this is the side. So I just have to push this away, bring this side up, bring the top back, bring the side back, now turn the top to the right, rotate my front, and bring this back, and I'm gonna slide this down. Now the one exception here is I'm not done, is you can see now that I don't have this piece, so I just have to rotate this back in. So a lot of people will forget that. Um, sometimes I even do that too. So you just have to be careful there. I have my green here, which is matching, and it has the yellow. So if I were to move this over here and try to bring this up, I'm gonna have these two be mixed up in color. So the green will be with the yellow and the yellow will be with the green right here. So what I need to do to solve that, all I'm going to do is bring this down once and then bring this up and then just push it to the back for a minute and then just move my two pieces to where they were. Now I can bring the top and now I can see that the yellow and the green, which are opposite colors, I know I can go ahead and solve this. So my next step now is to get these corner pieces here to match the same colors. So I'm literally gonna look around the top for the ones that have no gray pieces because then I know they go right here. So I'm looking for orange. So here's orange and it's gonna match with the purple and the blue. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead, the same strategy to get your corner piece in for a three by three. You're not gonna use this, that strategy for the same corner piece up here. So this is like your bottom corner, and this is like your top corners right here. So it kind of looks like that. There's your your four, uh, or there's your three by three right there. So um, here's orange, so I'm gonna move it, just pop it in like that. So I literally just go around the top looking for ones that don't have gray, and I just start doing the, that algorithm. There we go. The next step now is to solve my, um, if you, as you can see here, I just need to solve, uh, I don't even know what number layer, one, two, three, four, five, number six right here. So these stars, so I'm, this is the last layer before the top. So now this is the same exact strategy of getting your edge pieces in right here. So for example, it's the same ex exact strategy as uh, doing this. So. This is your top and this is your side. So for example, um, let me see here. Oh, and all the top pieces actually have gray, so I have to pop one of these out, so. I want this piece to go right here. So I'm gonna move the top away from that side, bring that side up, I'm gonna bring the top back, and I'm gonna bring this side back. Now I take the top and I push it to the side I want it to go. The front I'm gonna rotate up, and then the top I bring it back, and then I'm gonna rotate this front piece. So as you can see, there the stars are fitting in. So I'm just gonna keep going around doing the rest. Okay, and so now you can see I have all the layers solved except for the very, very top. So I like to think of this as the same thing with our yellow side for our three by three. So um, we're ultimately looking for a backward L right here. Um, so, for example, I'm 
here we go. So um, we are essentially looking for this. Now what I like to think of is I like to look for the L right here. And then I do have something here. So I'm really looking for this. So when I find that, these two right here, I am gonna do the same exact algorithm as I do on the three by three. So the front, right, up, I bring the right, up, and then the front. And now you can see all of them are gray. Now once you have that, now what you wanna look for is you're gonna go around and trying to look for color matches. Now I see green is matched here, I see purple, uh, pink is here. And when I do this, I'm ultimately wanting these two positions to have the same, to be color matched here. Because what's gonna happen are these three are going to cycle and rotate. These two are not going to be touched. So if I look at the green, this one doesn't match here for the beige. So now I'm gonna go to the pink, and I see pink matches, but it doesn't match with the blue here. So now I'm gonna go to the beige, and I'm gonna rotate to the beige, and I, don't, I see pink does not match there. So now I'm gonna go to blue, so I'll bring my blue back, and beige doesn't match there. And so now I'm kind of back to square one. So what I then do is I wanna look for, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to do my cycle one time um, because I can see that this pink and the blue, I see a pink here and I see this pink and blue will go together and notice how they're one piece away. So if I were to rotate that in the future, I'll have a pink piece and a blue piece together. So all I'm really kind of looking for now is I know this blue piece goes together with this side and I know this doesn't go with this side. And so now I look at these three and make sure that this green is uh, gonna be able to get to uh, a spot where I want it. Um, and that green is not because this one doesn't move, but the pink will eventually get here and they're one spot away. So I'm gonna do the same algorithm I do for um, solving uh, this. Except for when I solve my three by three, I do right, up, bring the right back, and then I do up, and then I bring the right up again, and, and then I do it two times, and then back. And that will help fix those errors in this. What I'm gonna do here for the dodecahedron, or for the megaminx, is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move the right side up, and then I'm gonna rotate twice, and I bring this back, and now I'm gonna rotate the top once, and then I'm gonna rotate, bring the right side up, and then I'm gonna rotate it two times to bring it back. So I have my blue is matching, and then I can go ahead and see that this is orange, green, and pink, and this beige stayed the same. So now I'm gonna do it one more time, and what's gonna happen is this pink will wind up being right over here. So I bring the right up, I move the top two times, I bring the right side back, I move the top one time, and then I bring the right side up, and then I bring the top two times. And now I rotate it back, and now I can see I have blue and I have pink. Now what I'm gonna do is since they're one away, I rotate because these two pieces will not move when I do my algorithm now. So these two will not rotate. This will rotate to here, this will rotate to here, and this will rotate to here. So I'm gonna do the algorithm again. So bring the right up, and I bring the top over two times. I bring the right side back, I bring the top once, and then I bring the right side up, and then I rotate two times, and I bring it back, and now you can see all of the stars are matching those colors. Now the last step I need to do, to solve, second to last step, is matching my colors here. And what I'm gonna do is I want to find where these two have the same colors. So before for my star was these two, and now I'm looking just right next to it for these. So in uh, just like with my three by three, we find a corner we have and we do the headlights. So I bring it up. So we're basically these three are rotating around until you get to the right color scheme. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and do my algorithm one time, just to kind of mix it up to make sure I know what I, I, get, I have here. So rotate the right up, 
But now I'm gonna do not just one, but I'm gonna rotate a second time. And then bring this back and then rotate this two times back. So I see the headlight, bring the left side up, and I move it two times to the left. And I bring my right side up and then I bring it back. And now I've mixed up these corners a little bit. So I see right here, this is a perfect example now. I have my orange and my beige and I have my blue and my orange. Those are matching exactly what I want. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the algorithm and these three are gonna rotate and they'll match the colors eventually. So I bring the right side up, move the top two times, bring the right side back and bring the top back. Bring the left up. Now I'm gonna move the top two times to the left and I bring my right side up and I'm gonna bring my top back two times and I can see the colors match and I bring them down and I noticed the yellow and the blue right here, those are the same. So I need to do it one more time so they rotate and get to the colors where they need to be. So now, and now you can see that I have the same color schemes where they need to be. Now the last step is the same thing when I'm solving, when I have all these colors matching, now I just have to go through and So I'm gonna do that same strategy except for, now this is my top and this is the side. You need to be careful with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it down and then I'm gonna rotate that bottom piece. Bring this one up, bring this one back. Bring this down, bring this over. Now I bring this up. Now I gotta remember though, I gotta bring this bottom side over. Some people forget to bring that over, and I've done that too, and that's a, it's a pain, it messes everything up. So, now I have one more, I just rotate that top back, and I'm just gonna go down, left, bring the right side up, and bring this side back. Down, left, up, right. Down, left, up, right. Down, left, up, and right. And now, we have a solved cube using all the same strategies as our three by three. Thanks for watching Math with Mr. B. Make sure to click that subscribe button, and until next time, later.